Brothers Abdul Hamid and Adil Saif run this clinic in Sana'a. It's a valuable service in a country devastated by war. On Mondays and Thursdays, the doctors offer free consultations. Free medical treatment is a step towards overcoming some of the financial challenges people face. Previously, many poor people chose not to go to the hospital because they couldn't afford it. The Safe Brothers started this initiative many years ago when they lived in Hodeida. They offered free health checks to families in poor neighborhoods. When fighting broke out near the coastal city, they fled, leaving everything behind. When the conflict neared Hodeida, we left for Sana'a. That was four years ago. The experience made us even more determined to help poor people. Most public servants haven't received a salary in seven or eight years. Patients here say they are grateful. This man received treatment for knees injury. This is very helpful for people during the harsh circumstances caused by the war. We hope projects like this can be launched in other areas and expanded to include more services such as surgeries and chronic medication. More than half of Yemen's public health facilities have been partially or completely destroyed. The rest are overwhelmed and under-resourced. The Supreme Medical Committee has registered more than 60,000 patients for urgent treatment abroad. The health sector has collapsed. An above clinics in Sana'a offer similar services, either for free or at discounted rates. It's a temporary solution, one that treats the symptoms but not the cause. In the past two years, fewer people have been killed in violence or fighting in Yemen. But the death toll from the indirect impact of the war has increased significantly and it's placed a burden on the crumbling healthcare sector. Mohamed Latab, Al Jazeera, Sana'a. Demonstrations are planned.